you're new in town or just new to this whole podcast thing, you're tuning in to Law by Night, the podcast that discusses all things vampiric with no fear of breaching the masquerade. In this episode, I will present to you what I deem to be the essential Vampire the Masquerade books I- Whoa, 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 whoa! Cut the crap! We don't have time for this dribble! Time is money, you know! I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, I think you know exactly who I am, Law. I am you. I mean, we both look pretty similar, but I don't think- Wait a minute. I do know who you are! You're- That's right. I know everything about you, and I mean everything. I am the part of you that you choose to ignore. I am the part of you that thrives off the many drive through RPG purchases. I am the manifestation of your greed and capitalist lust. I am tangible transactions incarnate. I am thou, and thou art I. Thou must recognize me as your true inner voice. Corporate law! Oh, so you're not my crippling anxiety that spawns from the guilt of buying things to make myself and others happy? No. I don't care about your problems. I'm only interested in one thing, and that's your fucking money. So you're an awful setite? In a sense, yes, but I revere something far more powerful. Horus! Ah, the Egyptian god of wealth. There's no subtlety with you, is there? There is no nuance with capitalism, you stupid fuck. Okay, that's just rude. Who cares for soul and passion? We're not interested in that soppy hippie crap. We're only interested in the price tag. Carry on like that and we may get sponsored by Raid (laughs) Shadow. There's no we, you fool. I'm taking over the podcast now. What? Wait, no, you can't do this. No. That's more like it, Law. Shut up and sit down. Let me show you how a real podcaster does things. Alright, roll up, roll up, you beautifully stupid listeners. Have I a pretty enticing offer to make for you? You are a storyteller, the vampire, the masquerade. You need books to make yourself look more knowledgeable about the setting. You want to flex to your players how much of a big brain you are, stunning them with that dank lore my lesser counterpart value so much. But you have no idea what you should get. The current edition is pumping expensive books which makes me very happy, cause money is the ultimate life force. There are a lot of other older ones too, all of which feeds the financial feed. But choices, choices, so many fucking choices, what shall we do? The way I see things, it sounds like we need each other. You need books, and I need money. Ching ching, motherfucker! So ping back those ears and write down these checks cause we're going to make some terrific transactions, baby! It goes without saying that you're going to have to get a copy of the core book. I know this may sound really obvious to most of you, but both I and the other law have encountered some people who expect to run a game without the core book. You have no excuse now. Head over to Renegade Game Studios and pay that delish 45 quid for the physical copy. Want a PDF? No problem! You can pay £18 there, or 20 quid on drive through RPG! Wowzers! With this in mind, I'm going to be mainly talking to STs of the 5th edition, as that is the newest edition, and probably the poor bastard that this guide needs the most. 5th edition is currently the hot shit, which you can interpret however you wish. Boom boom! Ching ching! V5 is perfect in its streamlined rules and systems, which is great for new players wanting to suck off a rich person in the streets and manipulate the elders at Elysium. Why would you want to feed on a hobo? Not financially viable there, is it? What's that? You want to play as a Giovanni? Oh, that's right! See, V5's lackluster approach to lore and storytelling is surprisingly lacking and encourages gatekeeping as it spreads the essentials across many books. That's right! You're going to have to purchase some more books to complete the clan experience. Why? Cause fuck you! Give me money! You want to play as the Asamites? Oh, sorry, the Banu Hakim, as they are now called now. Gonna pop 37 quid on the Camarilla book on Renegade Game Studios for a physical copy, or 15 quid for a PDF for 10 pages of fluff and crunch. Or what about them slippery set-eyed brethren of mine, the Ministry, as we have adopted? You got it, you're gonna pay the same amount of pages, 37 quid, well spent. But what about the La Sombra who all jumped ship to the Camarilla, as it was much easier to make them a Camarilla clan rather than making the Sabata player option in V5? If you want a grand total of Six pages, that's right, six 
pages to make a Lothomba character, you're going to have to pay one pound less for four less pages on Drive Through RPG. 36 quid for the standard colour edition. Oh, but you don't want standard, you want premium, because nothing sells well the nice, glossy paper. That'll be 65 quid, please, or 16 quid for a PDF. Okay, okay, okay. That would probably a little mean, if very true. At least you get a full book of the Hakata. You know, Cult of the Blood God. The book that shoehorned the clans and bloodlines of death into one conglomerate mess. Even the Nakarajo, which had nothing to do with the Cappadocian lot. But I bet you paying me between 17 quid and 57 quid would help you forget, no? Oh, which reminds me, you don't get all the Hakata bloodlines in that book. Why? Cause fuck you, give me money! You want to include some weird Giovanni Revenant that subtle people have heard of? Well, gotta spend up to 33 quid now. For completeness sake, I should mention the companion guide, which has the Salubri, Zamitsi, and Ravnos in there. Unfortunate for me, corporate law, that is free, and I really should pay you to read that. Ha 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 ha! Sabat the Black Hand though, now that, that is a perfect book. Pandering to fans, check. Contradictory diatribe, check. Information that teases players of themes they're not allowed to use and stuff that storytellers are going to ignore anyway. Ching, ching, baby! 33 quid, please. That is about 10 pounds less than what it was for the initial release. And don't think I didn't notice the price drop that was Renegade's Game Studios Book of Nod from a sexy 50 quid to a teasing 37 quid. I mean, you could always buy it on drive through RPG for £10 cheaper, but we don't want cheap now, do we? Because the more money you pay, the nicer paper you get. And that's what it's all about, right? No. You actually want law? Well, fuck me sideways. Best complete off that collection with a purchase of the Revelations of the Dark Mother and the Eresis Fragments, which is essentially the deluxe edition of the Book of Nod with commentary. Revelations is the Bahari cookbook. I know, so much Bahari lore for you to swallow in with so many books that 16 pounds for both of these old beauties. Can't wait for Renegade to do their own versions just so I can rebuy them. Woohee! But that is a lot of lore to trot on through. What if you can't be asked to read so much but still want to spend money. Well, the Encyclopedia Vampirica is your best buy. A literal Encyclopedia the Vampire the Masquerade, and only for generous 32 quid. One pound cheaper than the V5 book with tons more info for everyone. Sweet baby Jesus! Now if you fancy a big ass story to read and want to spend even more money, my boy Beckett got you covered. The posh cunt wrote a hold your heart diary with story hooks, character concepts and cities galore. 41 fat ones and you're sorted to go my friends. As we're on 20th anniversary edition books, let's go back to clans and bloodlines. You could easily spend hundreds of English pounds on the various clan books of the clans, bloodlines for both the modern knights and dark ages. It is a lot of books, especially when you remember each period has a first and second edition. I know I can't convince you to spend all that money yet. Besides, you want all the new shit, right? So you gotta buy Law of the Bloodlines and Clans, tying up to well over 50 quid. Hmm. Maybe I can get you to buy all these clan books after all. <laughs> oh, and let's add the player's guide to the high and low clan books for 19 quid. Even more sick clanage for you. Naturally, you'll need to buy a city book. Spending money is much easier than coming up with your own ideas, right? If you're doing something with the Dark Ages setting a vampire, donate 16 quid to your local TTRPG company to snag Dark Ages Europe and see how the vampires are fucking shit up. Now, if you want to know how to suck up your players, get the various Road of Enlightenment books Humanity, Heaven, Sin, Kings, and Beast. Can't get more in-depth lore about those important pillars of vampire ethics and morals anywhere else. Just hand over 65 quid for the lot and you are good to go. Clowns and bloodlines affect the mortals in many ways, particularly those that they choose to ghoul or force into revenant families. With all the yikesified inbreeding, 21 quid and that ghouls and revenant books is all yours. And corporate overlords smile one more night. Ha 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 ha! Throwing that tiny V20 companion guide with all that set and their positions broken down in short concise info for 16 quids and their kids will sleep easy too. On the topic of revenants, let's talk Sabat. I know other lore is not fond of the V5 Sabat book, but he doesn't appreciate true art like I do, though everything I see has a lovely tinge of green. Anywho, 
If you want more Sabbat, start with Chaining the Beast, which is filled with their many paths of enlightenment. I'm on a path of enlightenment, by the way. The path of... And paying 13 quid for that violent gem is the way to go. While you're at it, add Guide to the Sabbat, Guide to the Anarchs, and Guide to the Camarilla Basket. With a combined price tag of 45 quid, you can't get finer sect guides than those three. Wait a minute! <gasps> Sweet baby Jesus! That is as much as the V5 core book! You could just run your horny vampire game with that! As we're talking about horny, we might as well talk about the perfect gift for your partner who wants to do that foppy, kithy, witty stuff, but doesn't know how to do it. Well, clap them, or should I say spank them, with Love Beyond Death, a book all about romance. Seven quid is a lot to spend on a loved one. Right? You may know that's not actually a vampire book. It's actually a Wraith the Oblivion book. Other lore likes to beat one out constantly over Wraith, but I don't care. Not one. It. Money is money, and I give zero fucks where I get it from. I just want it. But as a player, you may get players wanting to do stuff with ghosts or werewolves. Well, you're going to be spanking your wallet a bit more for some big, thick core books, so you can properly understand the law for your players. No, you don't need to, but you're not here to save money, you're wanting to spend it. About 50 quid for the 20th anniversary edition for both of those core books, which is almost enough for me to bust a fat fucking nut, and this isn't considering the Guild and Tribe books so much money. Fill me up with all that coin! Oh, good God! <laughs> well, then. That seems to be the end of him. Uh, for now. I, I do apologise for that, dear listeners, but sometimes our demons get the better of us, I suppose. Anyway, despite his total obnoxious nature, he did provide some useful books for storytellers young and old to bring into their games. Maybe when I get more comfortable with running Wraith and even Werewolf, we can revisit this conversation again, hopefully without that jackass. To be kept updated, follow the Law by Night VTM Twitter and Instagram pages to find out when we will upload each episode. You can also find out by subscribing to the YouTube channel and clicking on the little bell, as you'll be immediately notified when the latest episode is live. Until next time, farewell.